Hello and welcome to a game review. I know, right? Hello guys and welcome to our very first game review. So these reviews will not only just be me, but will be joined by other members of the TNG. And including maybe my Jack. Who we've been doing a lot of videos with by the way, so go check them out. Anyway, today's review, Dirt Rally. Dirt Rally is a racing simulation game, focusing on the rally side of racing. The reviews show that the game is mainly positive, both on Steam and PC Gamer, besides the fact of it being an early access game, but is it worth £25? For starts, let's go through the features and the gameplay of this game. In the game at the moment, there are two modes, Hill Climb and Rally. There are 14 amazing looking cars, from the 1960s through to modern day cars like the Fiesta RS Rally. Now there are six different views you can choose from while driving these cars, as you can probably see in the video right now. There are also 36 tracks. These range from thick gravel and desert dirt up to the mountains with snow and ice covering the tarmac. Unlike many other racing games, Dirt Rally audience members are rendered out fairly well. They're actually 3D. Holy shit, I mean, took them long enough, right? Not only do all the textures of the tracks look fantastic and the wonderful glistening of the cars, but the game actually runs extremely well. I'm running a Radeon R9270X with 3.6GHz 8 core processor, and I have all the textures at high and getting a solid 70 to 90 FPS. The soft body physics of this game are actually done really well, although they aren't extravagant like games like Next Car Game and BNG Drive. But this could be seen as more realistic as the damage often corresponds with the crash and the body moulding of the car. A really good feature with this game is the fact that you are given the ability to make the decision of what should be repaired in your car. And now this repair takes a certain amount of time, so if you go over that limit you start cutting into your lap time, which you might not necessarily want. Now I actually like this feature because it gives you a more immersive experience in the game. Now building on this feature is the ability to customise your car setup at the beginning of every stage. But only at the start of the race are you able to test this out in what's known as a stage shakedown. A stage shakedown is where you get the first step in the stage as like a warm up where you can test out all the new features in your car but you only get 10 minutes of time to do this and every time you restart that takes away a minute of your time. Now there are advanced settings for your car but these need to be unlocked by racing during the championships. You need to progress your car and by doing this your car gets upgraded and soon you'll be able to step into the advanced settings of your car. Right now there are no known plans to include a multiplayer feature into the game but you can compare lap times with your friends and complete daily challenges and take part in online championships. Now in conclusion this game is really good but only if you're interested in real challenges this game has a really steep learning curve. If you are into games like Grid and Forza Motorsport then this game might not be for you as it's very far from any track like game, but that all depends on what you, what you look for in a game. If it's a real challenge and a different experience then this game is really good and it might just be worth the purchase. Now as this game runs really well and looks really well it has a lot of good features but it can also use a few tweaks here and there, but that's only because this is an early access game. I am truly excited to see how this game plays out as it's already a completely playable game and I would like to see what they're going to add to it in future. If it's your cup of tea then it's well worth the £25. If you're looking for a fun game for the weekend, right now it is on sale on Steam so go check it out. Hey guys, I would like to thank you for watching this game review. Feel free to leave a comment on what we should do next and tell us what you think of all this. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, leave in the comments what we should improve on. Anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.